Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. For the past couple years, I have used a Rusco brand sediment spin down filter. This traps sediment and silt before it hits my main house filter. Uh, it's worked well enough to save uh, over $100 on my regular house filters, but I have to come down here and change it out about every four or five days because of all the silt we have in our well water. Let me show you that real quick and I'll tell you about what I'm going to do to hopefully remedy this issue. Our well water comes through this pipe, goes up here, comes down into the Rusco spin down, and the water continues through this 100 stainless steel mesh onto the house filter and up to the house. So the purpose of the Rusco is to trap the sediment and you can see some right here and also down here. But it's also getting stuck to the mesh. So normally you would just open up this ball valve down here, it flush the whole system out and you're good to go. Uh, saves your house filter um, from being stopped up. So I actually uh, contacted Rusco by phone, talked to the owner, super nice guy, and uh, he told me what he thinks is going on is that the particle size of our sediment is just big enough to get stuck to this stainless steel mesh. It's a uh, 100 on their scale. Uh, so what we uh, talked about is that the, where are we here? Um, the polyester screen actually has more of a, a flap whenever you flush the system and it uh, breaks apart the sediment and falls down like it's supposed to. Um, so he sent this, he also sent, uh, I should be more organized, here it is. Uh, this is the 100 size, which we have on there now. This one is a bigger opening. We'll try that out. Um, so hopefully those uh, different polyester screens help to prevent this sticking or buildup. Um, if that still doesn't work, and I still have the problem of having to come down here every couple days and change this, he also sent the full size, uh, much larger version. So in this video, I'm going to be uh, testing all of these out. So stay tuned to the end to see what the final results are. Um, so let me show you what this does whenever I uh, try to flush it out here. So the procedure is you turn off your house filter there. So it's off. Uh, I use a bucket typically. And I just turn this ball valve to flush it. So uh, I flushed out the stuff that was hanging out here and down at the bottom. But let me go ahead and turn the water off. We'll pull this mesh and you can see what's still left on it, which uh, causes so much of a pain here. Okay, so this piece comes off. Yeah. And there's still all this fine mesh. Hopefully you can see that on there. Uh, and that just, uh, not mesh, but this fine sediment is still clogging all those little pores up. Uh, so we're going to take this stainless steel version out. And I think we will replace it with the same 100 mesh for our first test. And it should just stick back up on that. And then, uh, oops, there's an O-ring up here you have to pull out. Okay. Oops. All right. And open this water back up here. Whoops, a leak. I'm gonna let this sit here for four or five days and then we'll come back down and see if the silt is stuck to this screen. We'll flush it with the ball valve and hopefully what they were saying there at Rusco is that the polyester will have a bit of a flap to it and it'll pull off anything that was stuck to it. Because uh, this stainless steel screen here, it just, uh, it doesn't move, is what they were saying. So, all right, let's come back in a couple days. It's been three weeks and I have not cleaned the Rusco spin down a single time. That is very exciting for me because for the past two years, I've been cleaning it about every three days. Let me show you what's going on here. Down here on the Rusco, there is about two inches of silt that has built up on the bottom. And on the polyester screen, it's starting to get clogged up but it is way better than it was with that um, uh, stainless steel mesh. Now, I think there may be a little bit more getting into the woven string filter here than there was before. 
So what I want to see is when I flush this, how well does it pull this silt out and clean the screen here? Let's go ahead and turn the water to the house off. And then I'm going to open this ball valve and we will hopefully see a pretty good flush here. It's a little bit hard for you to see that. Let's see if this is any better. Uh, maybe actually. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and flush this. So the water here is still on and this should flush out. Ugh, it's awkward. <laughs> I want you to be able to see that. Hold on, let me see if I can set the camera down. Ooh, too much. <laughs> well, it certainly cleaned the lower trap really well, but um, did not get the top cleaned. But it's been three weeks. So let's go ahead and pull that off and see how well it cleans. Before I turn that water off, I've got a half inch tube here. I'm going to attach down here at the bottom and see if I can't crank the water up higher and uh, flush that a little bit better. All right, that's wide open. Now, it's not going to clean. Okay, so that filter Let's turn the water on a little bit, wash it off some. So my thoughts on this size of Rusco spin down for my water, having it last three weeks is perfect. I can handle that. Even if it lets more water or more silt into this filter, I'm cool with replacing that every month to two months. Uh, before I had this, I was replacing that every like two weeks or so. Uh, so I had to come down here every three days and clean this, but three weeks, golden. So, that being said, let's go ahead and pull this version of the Rusco off and install the larger version here. And that will have these much bigger filters. And I think this is going to last a month easy before I have to do any kind of cleaning. When I installed this system, I used PVC pipe razors instead of stainless steel. And so I have now purchased some stainless steel. Let's go ahead and replace these. Uh, let me, I put a union in here too, which has been so very helpful in order to access this stuff. So pull the house water off of there. And now I should be able to just unscrew this guy to access those PVC nipples in there. So I've got one here and over here that I'm going to replace. Just putting that stainless steel back on there real quick. Make sure it's nice and tight. When my house was uh, installed here they did not put a union on the water. And I had some problems, and let me tell you, adding that union on there has been amazing. Here is the bigger spin down. It is significantly larger. I wonder what filter is already in there. Maybe the 100 already. If that's the case, we'll just try that one out. And I think it's going to be a lot better. So the first thing I want to do is get a little bit of... Oh, I've already got the Teflon tape down here. That's nice on the bottom. So I can then install this ball valve. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that uh, I don't have a lot of room down here when I install this. Okay, I just realized I had to glue these bushings in here to get it to fit to my three quarter inch water supply. Uh, so I'll be back in a couple of days when this is cured. This video has gone on a long time for me. I let the filter sit one more month, uh, so four full weeks, and it's starting to deplete our water pressure enough that it's got to be changed. So the silt is up to here, about halfway, and the filter itself is blocked enough that our water is going really slow. So now it's time to move on to this giant two-inch filter. Uh, it's going to increase the surface area tremendously and probably give us, I'm just going to say, two months uh, maybe even three before I have to clean this out, which will be awesome. 
Now the uh, clearance between the new two inch and the ground is not very much. So I've got this little threaded 90 here with a ball valve that will go on the bottom so I can access the uh, valve without having to have it just pour down here into the ground. So I'm gonna turn off the full house filter there and close off this valve down here. Drain this one. There's so much silt build up that I'm gonna have to uh, open this while it's got some pressure behind it to flush that out, hopefully. Whoops. Okay, cool. Well, the spin down portion of this does work really well. That is very much coated in this very fine debris there. Definitely why it is stopped up. So, but you can see it does clean off uh, pretty quick. Now I need to go ahead and get this one emptied out as well. So I'll probably have to drain the water uh, back out of the house. I was really hoping that pipe razor would come out on the other side, but we'll deal with that. <clears throat> okay, the end direction is going right here. So I need to install this in this way. Let's get the filter back in here. And there we have it. The two inch Ruscoe spin down filter has been installed. And I think it's going to do so nice because if you look at this three quarter inch filter here versus that one, uh, it's just, it's huge. So I'm thinking that this will give us a couple of months before I have to come down here and clean this out, uh, which will be so nice because I'm tired of coming down here to change this out. Okay, let's come back in a couple days and see how well it's doing and uh, We'll close this video out. I've been filming this video for about two and a half months and I think I am done. So I am very impressed with the Rusco spin down system. The stainless steel mesh, uh, let's see, where did it go? There it is. Uh, this worked for uh, two years and uh, the problem was the mesh was so fine that it caught the silt and sediment that we have here and just kind of caked up on there. Uh, so I had to change it out about every two, three days. Quite annoying. So then we swapped over to the polyester screen, uh, still the 100 mesh. And you can see that also, after about uh, three weeks or so, uh, cakes up pretty good. Um, so uh, that worked way better. I got almost a month out of that versus uh, just a couple of days out of the stainless steel. But now we've moved on to the two inch and it has been a couple of days and you can see there is almost nothing stuck to the mesh here. So I'm anticipating at least two months out of this right here, which will be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to purchase a Rusco spin down filter, I have links in the description down below that you can learn some more and uh, hopefully find the right size for your sediment needs. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.